All right, let's press on to the next tier, tier 11. We'll start with speed record at Bugatti Circuit. My top speed currently on the car is 278 kph. Let's see what kind of target we get here. 196.7. All right. And let's see. On this circuit, this main straight is pretty fast section of the circuit. Of course, if it were 24 hour circuit, then it's the Molson straight, the first one before the first chicane. But in this case, all right, uh, long enough. For me to set the top speed record and then the rest of it we can just kind of you know take it easy there we go this bit of the circuit probably not long enough uh, two straights in the interior section, right? I don't think it's quite long enough, but the ones on the outer side, uh, outside, right? The main pit straight on one corner, uh, one side of the outside, if you will. And this one right here would be another faster section. I think this one might be a longer straight than the, the main pit straight where we set the top speed already. So yeah, we got some track to spare here and just make our way through this final bit of S's break for the final corner and bring it on home go 197.12 kph was my speed and that is of course good enough for the gold trophy here about 0.4 kph of margin of victory so keeping it nice and close and takes away maybe three and a half service bars to do a lap at bugatti circuit so maybe three and a half kilometers there about all right one down two more to go for tier 11 next up we've got the Hill Climb Autocross Challenge at Bathurst Mount Panorama. And minute 10, maybe, for this car? What kind of time? Minute 30, holy cow, that is forever. I know this car doesn't have exactly a very good pickup. Maybe it'll struggle to go up the hill. I mean, we carry absolutely no speed here. We're starting right going uphill from the very beginning, right? Get go, so. Alright. We're still accelerating, so that's promising. You know, we're not like struggling to go up the hill. Eh. All right, now that we hit the summit, let's see if we can add some speed. 230, almost 240, and oh, that wasn't exactly ideal. 
going downhill here, but uh, no crashing into wall. And boy, we got some 30 seconds to kill up here. Alright. Um, does that roll down? I guess uh, if you park it, it doesn't roll. Alright. Shift the gear. <laughs> Always fun to see the animation. Two, three, four, five. There we go. Looks like the color of the car has changed, doesn't it? It looks white, reflecting the light in a different angle. Because uh, last time I checked, I had a silver car, not a white one. But that looks very white, doesn't it? Hmm. Reflecting the cloud? I don't know what's going on. But, uh... See? It's silver. Okay, and... The cup to wrap up tier 11. This is going to be a Nürburgring sprint circuit, four laps. Um, should I hire Eric? Sure, he ain't doing much. Why not? PR requirement is 16.8, which we can easily get through here now. And of course, 16.8 that is uh this is a tier that you need to get through to claim 75 percent completion reward since you need a single gold trophy in tier 12 so you don't have to necessarily do the cup race but as i stated way early on if you made it this far i'm assuming that you're going for the win not just partial completion for partial reward which is not enough to really justify the cost to get this far. Mm -hmm. oh, this guy's trying to push me off track. Well I have Eric on my side for this race so I'll do some uh Bumper car action for this one. Yeah. Not quite enough to push you. All right. Boy, these cars don't get pitted, do they? Maybe here. Once again, it isn't so much the fact that they have high grip, it has more to do with the fact that these guys just don't have enough power to push, push one another off. Because I'm sure these cars are super light too. I suppose we're dealing with a 1950s automotive technology, so... Maybe we should be happy with the fact that these are not blowing up when we're smashing into one another like this. Alright, let's try this in the chase view typically a little easier to do these things but even then I wish we get a better idea of how well my angles are or angle is when trying to pit these guys Ah, uh, 
existent getting in the way. See, that was a good angle for pitting, but even then, it's just not enough. I can just. I cannot get them to spin. There! Almost. That's about as close as I think I can do it at this point. Of course, more slippery cars would just go right spinning around right then and there, but these guys just uh, not enough, not enough power. There we go. That was one successful pit move. Boy. very difficult car to spin others with. Okay, now I'm getting a hang of it. <laughs> but still, you have to be a lot more precise with this. There we go. Now they're spinning all over the place. as though we have worn out our tires or something as though I say that because you know it doesn't happen in the in a race typically unless it's one of those like special event races um, actually I take that back if you spend a lot of time off track I think it does wear down on your traction so you might end up with more slippery car than you would otherwise. Sort of like, you know, if you crash into a lot of cars, it does um, affect your car's performance, like acceleration and top speed. So on that same token, if you do a lot of what I'm doing here, then definitely will affect your car's performance, including the grip, I think. Of course, that's not usually as noticeable, and it's definitely, you know, harder to gauge than, say, like, top speed. That's pretty simple. Because, you know, you have a, we have a speedometer that tells you, tells us how fast we're going. So if it's affected, we can tell, like, oh, we're not quite hitting the top speed that we should be hitting. But with the grip, it's a little bit trickier because it's, it's all about angling and breaking points and a little less obvious things that's not going to give us direct number reflection, right? So, all right. Looks like everybody's a bit afraid to get up here next to me. Come on. They start. That's a perfect angle for T-bone, but not enough, not enough torque. So much, huh? And I guess this is the final lap, so I better wrap this up. All right. So when the speed is high enough, they do spin. We can spin them out, but only if your speed is fast enough, right? I think uh, we've done I've done my share of damage here <laughs> and through 
the finish line. Yes, that took way longer than what it should have, but uh, important thing is that I've won the gold trophy and we're moving on forward. 3000 fame points and the service status should remain same. As before, thank you, Eric. Yeah, I think uh, four laps sprint circuit would have wore out all those service bars, so that way we get to sustain the service bar status uh, for one more tier. All right, so that is good enough for tier 11. Moving on to tier 12. So stay tuned for the next tier playthrough. See you then.